to kick your images up a notch, whether it be photography or video, a slider is a great piece of equipment to add to your gear. It adds a smooth linear motion to your images and will boost your production quality. Sliders are quite expensive to buy. They can run you hundreds or even thousands of dollars depending on what you want. But if you're handy, you can make one yourself for a lot less. Here's an outline of how I made this one for less than 50 bucks. First I figured out the size. I was only going to use it with DSLRs so I could keep it relatively small. If you use larger cameras, scale the slider up accordingly. I also wanted to keep the weight down for portability, so making it from aluminum made the most sense. The materials for the slider project. For the deck, one piece of aluminum 3 16 of an inch thick by 6 inches by 8 inches. Two pieces of aluminum square stock, 3 quarters of an inch by 3 quarters of an inch by 5 and a half inches long. Four pieces of three quarter inch aluminum angle bar, two and three quarter inches long. Also, four pieces of five eighths ABS square stock, one and a half inches long. The roller bearings can be a bit of a challenge as they cost about 10 bucks each. So, for 16, that comes to about $160. I managed to find a pair of inline skates on a clearance rack. That gave me 16 roller bearings for a total of $17. I worked out the design for the slider deck in a graphics editing application. This allowed me to print out my drafted image precisely in actual size which was then affixed to the aluminum plate using spray adhesive. This gave me the guidelines for where to drill. The two pieces of aluminum square stock were drilled and tapped so they could be bolted to the deck and also accept the quarter 20 mounting bolts for the wheel truck assembly. Four holes were drilled into each piece of the 3 quarter inch aluminum angle bar for the roller bearing retaining bolts. The four pieces of ABS square stock were drilled to allow the truck assembly to pivot and then they were epoxied to the center of the aluminum angle bar. It's a good idea to score this area well so the epoxy holds. The roller bearings were installed using quarter by half inch washers as spacers. To extend them out so they ride on the rail in the center of the roller. They are held in place by quarter by three quarter inch washers and then the lock nut. The finished truck assemblies were then bolted to the slider. One of the advantages to the design of this slider is its versatility. The rails can be placed directly on the ground, on a countertop, or mounted in brackets on grip stands, depending on what the shot requires. Here are the materials for the slider rail brackets. Two pieces of 3 16 inch flat bar, one and a half inches wide and five and a quarter inches long. One piece of 3 16 inch flat bar, one and a half inches wide and seven inches long. Seven pieces of one inch steel tubing, seven quarter 20 bolts and four quarter 20 nuts. The four one inch diameter tubes cut to two inches long for the rail brackets were drilled out to freely accept the quarter 20 bolts. They were held in place by this jig I made from a piece of 2x4 so they could be welded to the flat bar. After this, the quarter 20 nuts were welded on. The three 2 inch long mounting tubes were drilled and tapped for quarter 20 bolts and then welded to the bottom center of the flat bar brackets. For the rails I used 3 quarter inch diameter aluminum tubing cut to 6 foot lengths, but larger tubing could be used. Plus, you can make them whatever length you need. The whole slider kit fits into this small repurposed case, making it great for traveling. I hope this video sparks some inspiration and gets you rolling on your slider DIY project.